Swiss Champagne 695, not that cheap Italian nasty stuff, it's the Champagne. Just look at that beautiful gold cab at the front. So it is a dealer special, it's a brown hill special. Champagne, everybody likes Champagne, so everybody should like this. At the top, we've got the too late Omnister awning. We do have this habitation door and a lovely awning light there. Habitation door blind, which is what we want to keep those nasty mosquitoes out. And then this is so well specced, I really can't um, emphasize how well specced it is. So the, under this flap here, we have the external barbecue or gas point. Under here, we have the external 230 volt socket or plug or whatever you want to call it. Then we've got the gas locker. Lovely black alloy to go with this white and gold side. And then to finish off on this side, we do have this garage door, which you have got the bottom bunk and the top bunk above. And this does very neatly fold up so you can put your bikes and whatever you want in the back when you are traveling on the road to take them out when you get there. So at 6.92 meters in length, it's on the three and a half ton chassis and it's just got over 500 kilograms of payload, which is nice. Gonna get a bit of tight when you've got six people because it is a six berth with five belted seats. So on the back, we do have the bars ready to put the Thule uh, bike rack on the rear and then we've got the reversing camera neatly at the top. On this side, we've got the Trume vents, as well as the fridge vents. And then under here, we've got the external shower point. It's got everything you need, this cassette toilet, water infill next to it, and the hookup lead plug on this side as well. So as we said earlier, look at that lovely, lovely gold cab. And you've got champagne written on the front. What more do you need? So it is on the Fiat Ducato 2.3 JTD engine with 130 brake horsepower. And with a six speed gearbox, it will go lovely. And because it is a six berth, it doesn't mean you have to have that over cab bed. This is a low line. So we've got plenty of space inside without uh, losing a few MPGs. So inside, so we've got these rear bunks, which you saw from the outside. We do have this slider door. So when you do have bikes and stuff in the rear, you can just block them out and they are magnetically stuck together and they just fold neatly out the way. They are quite wide bunks. Um, like I said, you've got this top one, which is fixed, but this one at the bottom does uh, lift up for the bikes. On your left hand side, we do have a nice big wardrobe. Now this is a proper big wardrobe. I know you can't see it, but you can fit the table and so on, which goes at the lounge in front. So you've got two halves of the table and both halves go in there. On this side, you've got even more storage. So you've got a little storage below and then you've got one above with a little rail inside there. And then we go on to the kitchen. In the kitchen, we've got the sink with mixer tab. You've got a couple of sockets. You've got storage above. You've then got the microwave. You then go down. You've got this three hob burner with the oven grill below and then even more storage below. Now something I do like is extra worktop space to work on and this is no different. That simply folds up, you can do your chopping, prepare your food, whatever you want to do on that side. Now on the other side of the motorhome, as, long, as well as this wardrobe, we do have this lovely black slimline fridge which is Dometic, which even now is cold and it hasn't been on for a few weeks, I'd imagine. And then we'll go into the bathroom. So in the bathroom, you've got the locker up above, you've got the shower curtain, which is neatly tied away and the shower head itself. You've then got the third cassette toilet down below. And then as a spin round, you have got a little bit of storage below the sink, mixer tab, a nice mirror where you can see my lovely self. You've also got some really good LED lighting. If you can just about pick that up with the camera, um, all the way around this van. So something this motorhome does have, it has the Truma iNet ready system on the left hand side. You then have the Swift command panel and the buttons were to empty out the fresh and wastewater tank. Now the Swift command uh, system, it is brilliant. It's a bit like your hive at home, if you know what that is, where if you're down the pub, you think, think it's getting a little bit cold. So you put your heating on from your phone. How good's that? So you got two berths at the back, you got Two more here, and then you've got two more below. So I've pulled the bed down. It is a push button bed. This one has had the recall done, uh, which is just a couple of tabs or seatbelt sort of things, which just stops it from dropping down. It can happen if you don't get that recall done, so make sure it does get done. So this is a door bed. It isn't electric, um, but it is manual. And it just pushes back up just as easily as that. And then we've got this lounge below. So that is one 
rear facing seat with a belt. So it's seats five. And then we've got two more as a pan around on the other side. So on this left hand side, we've got a short, uh, short bench seat and then we've got an L-shaped seating on the other. Again, really nice LED lighting all the way around and lockers that are overhead. They just give you, there's so much storage in this little motor home. So on the other side, we have got the TV bracket and you have got the 12 volt, 230 and aerial point. And then we'll finish off by going into the cab. So this 2018 68 plate champagne is just top of the range. You can see it has everything that you want. It is built on the Fiat Ducato 2.3 JTD engine with 130 brake horsepower. On the right, you do have electric mirrors, electric windows. You've then got cab blinds at the front. Steering wheel controls for your Bluetooth, phone, volume, everything like that. Six speed gearbox, you then got hill descent control, traction control plus. You've got USB points. You've got a couple of nice cup holders as well as auxiliary and further USB points. Going up, you've got cab air conditioning, TomTom Tom sat nav. Oh, what else do you need? And then you've got reversing camera, driver and passenger airbag. So what do you think? Comment and like below. It is a six berth motorhome with five belted seats, but it's at that really nice length. It has all the bells and whistles that you'd want. It's probably over spec for something that's just under probably 60,000 pounds as new. And um, with your gas points, your 230 volt, everything like that on the outside, it's just very, very well put together indeed. Shall see you soon. Hey, you made it to the end of the video. Please press subscribe at the bottom or like if you're on our Facebook and watch the latest news and motorhome reviews. To find out more information, you can go on our website, www.webuyanymotorcaravan.com. Telephone us on 01283 240 237